Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Max Boom vs. the High Bay LED Lights. This is episode 17 and today we're going to be talking about pruning and a few other things. As you can see here, I have pruned out the bottom portions of the plants and this normally isn't done this late in the game when the flowering starts. You normally would want to do this uh, before it starts flowering or fruiting. Um, or in the case of medicinal plants, you definitely want to do it before you transfer it over to the flowering stage because when you do this, it stresses out the plant, uh, which can reduce your yield. So in, tomato, in the case of tomato plants, it's not quite the same. Although every plant is different, uh, it still stresses a plant out. The tomato plants just aren't quite as affected by it as some other type of plants. So what I've done is I trimmed out the bottom stems and le or the leaves and the branches. Um, and you can see I got my pile right in the ground here. It's a pretty good amount. Now normally you wouldn't want to trim out any more than about 30% of the plant at one time. Um, but this was actually kind of long overdue. And it's, it's not really that big of a deal. But the reason why you do this is because for anyone out there who hasn't grown indoors under artificial lighting, outdoors you don't really need to do this kind of stuff because the sunlight has very unique penetrating capabilities with plants and it doesn't the top part doesn't really block the bottom parts of plants quite the same. Uh, the intensity is, is far different than what you have with indoor grow lights. Um, although it does depend on spectrum, uh, if you're using something like a white light, it has more green light, and green light actually helps penetrate the canopy more because it transmits through the green leaves and it gets down to the lower chloroplasts of the plant. So on the note of uh, like a pink purple light, you're not gonna get as good canopy penetration as you would with a white light. Uh, so I did trim these out and the reason why I did this is because um, the top part of the canopy shades the bottom part as I just said and what happens is, is the nutrients are going up into these old branches and the plant is or the the nutrients are basically being thieved by these lower branches because they're not getting a return on their investment so what happens is the, is the light is, is so dim when it gets to those bottom leaves um, not only from distance but being shaded by the top of the canopy is that the nutrients go into there and the water as well and it's not creating the energy and going back into the plant which goes down to the roots. So it's very important to remove the lower parts um, of taller plants when you're growing under artificial lighting if you want to get the best uh, yield out of them. Uh, it also actually helps the plant be a little bit more healthy uh, so long as you do it properly. So the other problem is is that if you don't crop it out um, you're also losing a lot of uh, water through transpiration through the, through the bottom part of the leaves. So while they're hardly doing anything for the plant, they're also sucking up all the, wa all the water out of your reservoir a lot quicker. And uh, that's, that can also create a situation like I had last time where it sucks it out so fast that it was hard to keep up with it and monitor it and everything dies when it comes to hydroponics anyways. So I think I had a comment on the last video that was saying the, uh, the max bloom was, looked like it was much further than 24 inches away from that plant top. It's actually exactly 24 inches. Um, it's look, I know it's hard to tell with the scale of the video and everything, but that's where it's at. And the high bay, uh, I have been keeping uh, adjusted, uh, pulling it up a little bit higher each time just to make sure the par value matches that of the max bloom, which like I said before is six, about 650. Uh, so I also wanted to talk about, and this kind of ties into what I'm talking about now, is that the difference between these two lights mainly is the Max Bloom um, that is 90 degree lenses on that light, and this doesn't have lenses over here on the high bay. The downside to having 90 degree angle light coming off those LEDs, it's a very focused beam, and if uh, on a light like this where you have multiple different colors of LEDs around there, and it's, if it's too close, the beam angle, this is a very bad demonstration, but the beam angle, you know, is say it's about like right there. So you get the beam angle here. Now if it's too close, you're not getting enough overlap on the uh, other LEDs. So you get different colors and they're, they're not all overlapping each other to create one uniform spectrum. So like on the top of the plant here, if it's too close, you would end up having like, this spot would be, uh, you know, like a, a orangey color LED, and then over here would be like a bluey color LED, bluish color LED. Um, and what you want is you want both of those spectrums to overlap each other so that you have a uniform coverage. And that's why uh, not only the fact that white light is so much better because you're getting uniform spectrum, 
uh, across the canopy of your plants, you're also getting um, diffused light. So the intensity is generally just a little bit more in the middle, but it's uh, about the same around the outer parts. If I was to take my power meter and put it on this one over here in the max bloom, uh, if I move around the top of the canopy, you're gonna get very different results because of the intensity changes with the, because of the beam angle of the light. So I'm not trying to down talk the max bloom so much. There is, a, there is a reason why you want to use that light for certain situations. It's specifically designed for medicinal plants. Um, and also you're making more use out of the wattage that you have with the light because it, um, it takes all that intensity and it puts it down into a concentrated area. So you're kind of making most use out of the wattage that's going into it. Uh, however, uh, since this is a tomato plant, it's not quite the same as a medicinal plant, and uh, I'm going to talk about in the next video about kind of uh, uh, how the spectrum works and everything as well uh, when you're switching from vegetative stage to flowering stage, uh, because that is kind of important for when using a light like the Max Bloom. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in episode 18.